Good morning, everybody. Danny Wonder back from Pecan Grove. Guys, exactly one week ago, we amended the soil in the high tunnel here in the Vego beds. And what I want to do today is take a look and see, was it worth it? Is there a difference? Did it work? So let's start looking at the Vego beds. Well, guys, here we are back at the first Vego bed on the north side. Look at this tomato plant here. Look how already blooming. Look at the color now. It's not that old pale yellow anymore. Uh, the cauliflower, look how big and beautiful it is. Look at this. Look at this tomato plant. This thing looks fantastic. It's turning the dark green that it needs to. The cauliflower is starting to pop out now. More cauliflower here. This tomato plant here is starting to bloom already. Got the good color starting to come in it. Miss Wanda, she harvested her a, a pickle off of this thing the other day, or a cucumber, should I say, and it's, it's just loading up with a lot more. Look at all the little cucumbers in there. Oh, wow. My first cuke. I'll wash it up and see what it tastes like. Look, we're gonna try it. Wow. Crunchy. Definitely tastes like a cucumber. Y'all, the kitchen minis are awesome. Where else in March? Into March, would you be a cucumber? Let's look at this bed now. Look at these cauliflowers. Whoa, now son, they have started to pop. Look how big they are. We're gonna be having heads forming before long in these, especially this one here. Look at this one. This one's grown like six or eight inches taller than what it was and bigger. Those are doing good, and Miss Wanda's, let's look at her. Ah, Vago, baby tomatoes. Vago mini tomatoes here, look at that. She's got little tomatoes. Little tomatoes. Look how many blooms is on that Look little how many rascal. little tomatoes is under there. Wow. Look at that. I mean, they got little marbles in there. That's kind of awesome. Look at the, here's our other one here. Look at this. Look how many blooms. It's got a little tomato in starting, wow. so. That thing's going to have loads of I'm, I'm anxious to see what those actually do. Now guys, I want y'all to look at this. This is Ms. Wanda's radishes. Now, Ms. Wanda was told these radishes would not make anything. Somebody on the comments in the video said, them things will never make nothing. Well, let me tell you something. Not everybody knows what they're talking about. Look up under there. Look at this. This one here, starting to make a pretty radish. I mean, they are radishes in there everywhere. These things are starting to get up nice and big. They are actually working out really, really nice. And here is the Abe Lincoln tomatoes that was one to planted to see if those seeds that we had, that we done the video with was any good. Well, guys, they did sprout, they did come up, so the old seeds will still germinate. Well, here's Miss Wanda's spinach. Now, she's been harvesting spinach off of this. This, uh, guys, her spinach is going wacko here. Now, I got a little grass I need to take out of it. But other than that, I mean, her spinach is really doing good. Now, the little Vago watermelons we got here, you know, they come through that hard freeze being the shipped here. And they got here, they were frozen. We stuck them in the ground anyway. And it looks like, I don't know if they'll pull out or not. But it's we'll, trying. It's trying. But you see right beside it, you had planted uh, oh. something. So we'll see. We'll we may see. have to move a something. I think it's a, <laughs> a, a squash. I don't know. If we put so many different things in so many different places, and then we just decided not to. So. And the other one. Uh, the other one is actually trying to put on some leaves. I don't know if it's actually going to pull out or not. We'll so have we'll, to wait and see. We decided when we was in town the other day to pick up a couple of, uh, we, the only color bell pepper we didn't have was purple. So we decided to pick up 
three purple bell peppers. We just wanted an assortment of colors in our peppers this year. I actually just bought one and there was three of them in the pack. So I separated them. You know me, I, I gotta, I'm always looking for the ones that's got more of them in the pack than just one. Well, the strawberries have finally, since They're we beautiful. put some fertilizer in there. Oh, look down there, Miss Wanda. I know, isn't that awesome? Look at that. Ooh, that's a pretty strawberry. Almost. It's almost. It ain't quite there yet. We'll leave it. But Maybe. look how green and pretty. Look at that. Them things, we, since we amended it, look at it. They are starting to pop now. We got Along a few, with the weeds. Yeah, we got some sorrel. We knew we knew that was going to pop up in here. And then these other little weeds here. But see how easy it is to weed these beds? You just come along here. They just pop right up out of here. The plant itself. Those plants are gorgeous. I mean, literally gorgeous. Well, guys, look at these self-watering containers from Vego. Look at our tomato here. Look at this. Now, now we got, you know what we got up under in these? We also got our electroculture. Look at this. We got blooms? We got blooms. Look up in there. And man, this thing is, has took off. This one here, look at this one. How, look how pretty. I mean, I mean, it's like a picture-perfect tomato plant. Literally, picture perfect. I'm With a little bit it. of dew on it. Oh, yeah. It's because it's early in the morning out here. Look at the dew that's on it. That's because we have like 99% humidity this morning. Now, this uh, was the mini cantaloupes that we had gotten. and They went through the hard freeze, and we really didn't know if they would live or not. But they're trying to pop out and put a few blooms on. Look at these radishes here. These things are gorgeous. Now, we put these in here as an insect deterrent, and we stuck our electroculture by them, you know, uh, just to see. And they are doing fantastic. I mean, these things are popping. Now, these strictly will be for insect deterrent. They're not They're not for eating right now. Yeah, but Miss Wanda wants that one right there. She can't have that one, though. That's Danny's. He won't let me have his. Look. Look at this one. Look There's at that. two in there. There's two starting. in that one. Yep. Mmm. And these, I hope, will pull out because they're blooming. So we'll see. This is the uh, uh, sweet potatoes here. Look at this one. Man, they're that, starting to pop now. Starting to get slips. Yes, we're starting to get some slips. It's actually getting warm enough, but we're going to go back down into the high 30s next week. And ah, uh, it's just so frustrating, guys. I mean, it's roller coaster, high 30s. High 80s, high 30s, high 80s, you know. And like I told you, it's going to be a roller coaster year. Now, here we are at our English peas, our little marvels. Uh, I don't know why everything always wants to go to the outside edge of a bed, but it does. We're going uh, to get some string. We'll get some string or some little sticks or something and run it up here. Uh, lean it up and kind of get them started. Now, that someone, one. It's trying. You're trying. They're going to get there, but we just, we're excited. This Vago bed is really doing good as far as uh, the English peas are concerned. And Miss Wanda has her daisy down here. And then the carrots haven't showed up yet. No, the carrots haven't showed up yet. And I really didn't expect them to do very well in this old soil that we put here because it's not really ideal for carrots but i sprinkled them in there just in case now here we have our cherokee yellow wax beans thus the little bit of a yellowish color to them we had the, we haven't really amended this one yet i wanted to let them get up because these are nitrogen fixing beans i wanted to let them get going before i actually done anything to them to make sure i don't overdo anything and then here's my hemrod white seedless grape right here i'm loving that and again the carrots not popping up no nope, the carrots aren't popping up here in this one either this is our other side now we have our cherokee yellow wax beans here the other hemrod right here uh, growing up we're going to be getting this up on the trellis system here and of course the carrots on this side hasn't came up either but we're not going to spaz about that because sometimes carrot seeds take a long time and plus this was an old pack of carrot seeds that came from walmart or somewhere like that and i just didn't want to leave them in there so i just sprinkled them around they're not really the 
carrot that we normally plant, the Corota. This was the Danvers 126s. And I just picked them up one day when I was in town years ago just because I was panicking and I wouldn't have any carrot seeds. And I said, why not sprinkle them in here and see if some of them come up. Now here we are at our Black Beauty eggplants. Look at these things, guys, since we amended the soil. Look how big and beautiful. And of course, all of them have on this end down here. Now, not every one of them. I, I didn't put an electroculture on this one. I have it on this one, this one, this one. I don't have it on these two right here. I have it on this one. I don't have it on this one. And I have none on this end of the bed down here. And I want you to look at the difference. In this end of the bed and this end of the bed. So, it's... Uh, Definitely, and I fertilized it all the same. I mean, so it's, we're gonna wait and see how it all pans out. Now this one here is actually fixing the bloom right here. I believe, yeah, I saw a bloom on it the other day back there. So we got an eggplant forming on it already. Two actually. <laughs> yeah, so look at this. Look at the difference in one week amending this soil after our soil test. Look at the difference in the peppers here. These things are pulling out of the, the little bit of a yellowish tint that was on the leaves on the bottom down here. Look, the top ones are starting to turn, getting to see that greenish tint coming around the edges of them here. Uh, now, I do notice, I will show you something about this particular one right here I'm noticing. I don't know if the camera can actually pick that up, but let me see if I can get it turned just right. You see there's uh, little dark lines up through the veins in that right there? That tells me my magnesium is just a little bit off, so... And that could be because one of the other trace minerals are, are a little high. So I may have to balance that out just a little bit. But And here's our little peppers that we did not think would even make it. And look at them. They're actually trying to pull out and grow now. These were the ones that were left over. A little, when I bought one pack and it had like three or four in a pack, and I pulled them out and replanted them. Now look at this Vago Mini right here, this pepper. I mean, has it got... Oh, yeah, it's got a lot of little blooms in the top of it right there. Yeah. Yep. Look at this one. Look at this. It's even got a pepper. Oh, yeah. This one's already got a pepper on it. This is the green bell right here. It's already got a pepper on it right here. We don't usually get pepper until like June or <laughs> July when it gets really hot. This is the last day of March. Yeah. I mean, look at this. This is, this is crazy. And we're having temperatures in the mornings like in around 44 and 49 and we've you know, never had peppers this early never ever had and we peppers. don't have a, a a top on the high tunnel no the high tunnel still wide open we can't heat it up in here so um just think when we do oh uh, when we do but let's let's move down and look at the mineral tubs next well here we are with our onions now this is the savannah sweets right here guys i'm just a little disappointed in my onions this year i I usually grow some fantastic onions, and this year, maybe I'm jumping the gun, I don't know, but usually by now, I've got bulbs forming everywhere, and, and I got no bulbs this year. I mean, there's nothing down there, and I don't know, I don't know. We'll wait and see, though, uh, but this, I've got these here. Now, this is a, the uh, Creole, red Creoles. This is a red Creoles. Uh, this is some more of the Savannah Sweets right here that we just planted and transplanted from. Now here we have a cabbage that's fixing to bolt, so we got to get this today. See how the top of it's starting to split? It's getting a little pointed up here. It's kind of coming up to a point in the middle right here, and we got to harvest this one today. Plus, when we're noticing these little spots popping up around on the leaves here, it's trying to pick up a disease uh, from being here too long. So uh, we're gonna get this one out of here today. Now here we are at the other cabbage over here. Now this one looks pretty good right now. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. I think it might could make it another day or two. So we're it's looking pretty good. And we got uh, we got some dill planted here beside uh, this cabbage, and our oregano is still right here. So remember, you want to put the oregano and mint in its own individual pots because it's very invasive. Dill is a companion to cabbage, but uh, we noticed uh, this one is splitting. So that got to come out here today too. Now we got. Look at Ms. Wanda's radishes here, guys. This is the tubs that was 80%, 86% nutrient dense this past fall. And I mean, these things are... I see a radish. <gasps> Look at that. Ms. Wanda, 
Can I have it? You want a radish? I want a radish. Let's look. Let's Since you won't let me have yours. You ain't getting mine, but you can have this. I mean, this is yours. Let's look at this. Ooh, Ooh this one splits. It splits. Ah, into three that. pieces. Into three sections. Look at that. And it formed three individual roots right here. Well, no, that's actually one root that split three ways. Ooh, it smells like a radish. It would have been triplets. It would have been. I don't know. Can you actually get some? I guess you might get a little I can eat like out that. of that. Let's look here and see as a... Oh, here's another one. I'm going to be pulled your radishes. That's all right. I want to eat. Look at this one. Now, that one did what it's supposed to do. Get some dirt off of it and put it back in there. Look at that one. That's a nice size little radish right there. Yeah, I see some more in there. So, I've got radishes. Oh. Behind your hand there. Oh, there's one right there. There's some over here. I don't want to push them around too much, but you know. Yeah, so we've got some, and this pot is radishes. I don't oh, yeah. know if they're this big here, enough. This one is young ones here. They haven't even started making their roots yet. No, uh, not yet. Not yet. But you got these here. And, of course, we have our uh, English thyme here. I put them across from one another here. Now, I, I, they're going to grow and cover this whole pot, I hope, is my dream. And then we have our Freedom Blackberries. Now, this one here is beginning to pull out. It's starting to grow again. These are some pretty tough plants. I moved them from the high tunnel over deep south over to here and put them in these containers here. And this one hasn't actually began to uh, put its new leaves on yet, but it's. I do see down at the ground right there, I see new stuff starting to come out. And of course, this one does old-fashioned purple petunias. Got to have a pollinator in the high tunnel here and now we come back here we got two squashes that uh remember we moved them from the vago bed back there because they were just popping up put them up here uh don't actually remember was this the straight neck or? straight neck i believe yeah the yellow straight neck so we stuck both of them in a pot really that's too much for this big pot but you know what we'll see how it goes and here we have our early girl tomatoes in the vago tomato uh cages here at this end look at this these things are popping it guys i tell you what i i like these things so much it wouldn't it wouldn't hurt my feelings if we invested in these in the future just to grow our tomatoes strictly in these because i mean this is uh this is turning out to be fantastic with that self-watering system in it and plus the cage up here uh i'm i was skeptical in the beginning but I'll be honest with you, we was asked this question uh, mm -hmm. by a subscriber. What about the algae in the bottom of the thing here because it holds water all the time? Well, guys, algae... You um, pick this up. I don't know if we can do it. Can we get it up? It's got dirt soil in the bottom of it, but it's still clear water. Now, what you have to understand is algae needs light to be able to grow. And this stays completely dark in here all the time, so you shouldn't be any algae formation in it. If you had to, you can pick it up and take it out of there and wipe it right out, you know, if you wanted to. I mean, it, but I don't see it becoming an issue. So, guys, was amending, was the soil test and amending the soil worth it? In my opinion, uh, when I look back here, absolutely yes i mean it was it was well well worth it uh that's just picture perfect right there isn't it i mean you stop and think about when them red tomatoes hanging on them little plants in here soon it, baby soon look at that man things would be beautiful in there wouldn't they and we're gonna harvest these two cabbages right here that we got bolting and uh feed the rest of them to the rabbits and eat the heads ourselves. Now, we're going to make some good old coleslaw out of that. But guys, this is why I tell you, for my tip last night on the Saturday Night Live, amend your soil now. Because what's coming in this country, you're going to need it. I guarantee you. You, you need to not just sit here and just keep putting this off even if you have to go to your like i said last night even if you have to go to your local extension service and pay just eight dollars and or ours is ten here just to do the npk at least get that right 
you know, and your calcium. At least get that right. Uh, I, I really advise people to go through Grower Solutions. We have a link in the description below where you can, so you don't have to go hunt it up. There's a soil test right there. You can, and it's 30 bucks. And it gives you like 15, 16, 17 different minerals in the soil that your plants are lacking. And if you want a healthy body, you need this stuff in your body. You know, I mean, because they're taking it, they're taking literally some of the trace minerals out of our food on purpose so that our health goes down. So with knowing that they're purposely taking some of the trace minerals out of our food to make us unhealthy, guys, why not? be proactive and what is what is 30 bucks you know what is 30 bucks against your health you spend more than that going to the doctor's office because you are sick why not spend that 30 bucks amend your soil like you need to get the nutrition you need from your plants and stick your tongue out to the doctor how about that thank you guys from pecan grove